The law behind Whisper On the South Islands, outside of Albion, Whisper and her older brother, Thunder, left on a ship for Albion. During their journey, they hit a storm and came upon a kraken nest. The kraken attacked the ship and devoured it. Whisper and Thunder, however, have hero blood, and Thunder uses his abilities to rain down thunder from the heavens to slay the kraken. Saving his and Whisper's life, he then takes her in his arms and swims to the coast of Albion. Arriving in Albion, they were taken in by the Heroes Guild that recognised that they had abilities. Here, Whisper is raised. Whisper became a favourite of the Guildmaster, Weaver, and he boasts about how she is the brightest young pupil that they have in the Guild to newcomers. When the hero of Oakville joins the Guild after his village is burned to the ground, he trains with Whisper, and throughout the years, they develop a strong and friendly rivalry. Although exceeding expectations of the Guildmaster, she is constantly in the shadow of her older brother's successes in Albion, which gives her the drive to perform better and become stronger. Through her training, she becomes comfortable with melee weapons, becoming talented with staves, combined with magic, preferably the Assassin Rush spell. She also became incredibly athletic, and used her abilities to jump incredible heights to confuse her foes in combat. She later added explosive devices to her combat style. After graduating from the Heroes Guild, Whisper grows a reputation through her deeds around Albion. This allows her to compete in the Witchwood Arena, where her brother had found fame years before. Whisper fights alongside her friendly rival, the hero of Oakvale. After successfully fighting side by side and beating the arena, Jack of Blades interferes and calls upon them to fight each other to the death. The hero of Oakvale is said to have let her live, as they had a soft spot for each other. They later meet in the Oakvale Tavern, where she acknowledges his superiority as a hero, and she tells him that he has been a good friend over the years. After this, Whisper returns to the South Isles. On her way back, her ship is attacked by pirates, in which she kills them all. Whisper later spends her life defending her people, and is finally praised as a true hero. Hundreds of years later, Whisper is a legend, and her story is told to children. Hello guys, thanks for watching this lore episode on Whisper, one of the most underrated characters in the Fable universe. What did you think? What would you like me to cover next? As always, like and subscribe if you found this interesting. Now, enjoy your day. Bye.